Well, if you think that Islam is a religion of peace, your thinking is about to change radically. From the lips of a Muslim imam himself, you'll hear these words, and I quote, the Muslim who says he's against Sharia is not a Muslim. It's impossible. The same man has a dire warning for the West. Dale Hurd brings us his shocking story from a country you'd never expect, Belgium. The graffiti says it all. Welcome to Belgistan. Muslims are still a minority in Belgium, but in the capital of Brussels, they're already the largest religious group, one quarter of the city's population, and are expected to be the majority in less than 20 years. The most confrontational Muslim group here is Sharia for Belgium, which used shouting and threats to shut down a debate by moderate Muslims a few months ago. I sat down and talked to the leader of Sharia for Belgium, Faud Baukasem, alias Abu Imran. Sharia for Belgium is a small group that a lot of people don't take seriously. But he sounded very serious when he told me that he expects Muslims to rule Belgium and the world. We believe that the Sharia will do dominate. The Sharia will be implemented worldwide. Sharia for Belgium is a public relations nightmare for those Muslim groups which try to play down their ties to radicalism and Sharia law. Imran was completely open with CBN News, saying Islam and Sharia law are inseparable and democracy is wrong. Sharia is Islam, to be clear. There is no difference between Islam and Sharia. It's just a name. Uh, uh, democracy is the opposite of, of, Islam, of, of Sharia and Islam. We believe that Allah is the legislator. Allah makes the laws. He is the one who tells us what's allowed and what's forbidden. I know some Muslims who think of themselves as Democrats and they say they're against Sharia. Are they real Muslims? Yeah, that's it's really funny when I uh, hear someone saying, yeah, I, I was speaking to a democratic Muslim. It's the same thing as saying uh, I was speaking to a Christian Jew or to a Jewish Muslim or something like that. It's impossible. H how could you meet a Jewish Muslim or a Christian Jew? And the Muslim that says he's against Sharia, he's, he's not a Muslim. It's impossible. Like in many countries across Europe, a culture war over Islam is well underway in Belgium. Last month, the mosque of Charleroi was desecrated with the mask of a pig head. Then the daughter of the head of Belgium's right-wing party, Anne-Sophie de Winter, posed in a bikini and burqa with the words in Dutch, freedom or Islam. Someone painted over this poster, giving her a full burqa. They also painted over freedom, and Sophie de Winter received death threats. Imran went on YouTube to call her father, politician Philip de Winter, a pimp for letting her pose in a bikini. This community is a dirty, uh, pervert, uh, perverted community. And Islam is flexing its muscle. Girls in bikinis have been attacked. Jewish and Christian symbols vandalized. And in Muslim neighborhoods, Sharia law enforced. The big cities in Europe are the first uh, places where we can see uh, what will happen when uh, the majority is Muslim. We see it in the big cities first. Brussels, Amsterdam also, Rotterdam, Antwerp. Sam Van Roy has co-edited an important new Dutch language book called Islam, Critical Essays on a Political Religion. Islam is a fascist ideology and that's, it's not a religion like Christianity or like uh, Judaism. And the danger in it is that it has a religious side not like communism and Nazism, who are only ideologies, but Islam has a bit of both. Imran is looking forward to replacing Belgian law with Sharia law, including amputation for theft, stoning for adultery, and death to homosexuals. When they uh, hear someone speaking about Sharia, immediately they start to think about uh, amputations, stonings, killings. Uh, that's just, I don't know, one thousandth of the, of the Sharia. Did you know that in 1,302 years of, of uh, the Islamic State, with the Sharia implemented, we, uh, we had something like about 60 hands cut, uh, cut off, amputated? So in 1,300 years, 60 hands. Is that really uh, a number that you could say, oh, frightening everyone, I don't know. And if you're not a criminal, why should you, have, why, why should you be afraid of Sharia? A showdown over Sharia is coming in Belgium because the high Muslim birth rate is changing the political landscape. The most common baby name in Brussels for four years running has been Mohammed. You think it's a matter of time before Muslims are the majority here? Yeah, of course, uh, even, even uh, 
the, the disbelievers themselves, uh, they say that in 2030, something like that, uh, there will be a majority Muslims here in Belgium. Uh, even the city, uh, Antwerp, uh, more than 40% of the children in the schools are Muslims. So it's just a matter of time. No problem. We don't, we don't have any problem. And Imran offered this advice to white native Belgians. Uh, if, they wanna, if they want to uh, uh, push us back or something like that, I don't know, maybe they can start to marry four wives and have a lot of children. Start with that. Maybe they will have a chance, but I don't think so. Van Roy also sees a Muslim future. I don't think it's going to stop. Um, I'm very pessimistic about it. I think more and more people, uh, Belgian people, will, will leave Brussels. So it will come real Islamic uh, capital in, in decades. The victory of Allah is very near. So I think that the West need to prepare themselves for um, a wave of Sharia in Islam. Dale heard CBN News in Brussels and Antwerp. Thanks, Dale. I hope you weren't hearing the future. I hope that's not the future. But, you know, uh, Terry, it's like a, a, a virus. If you have, we have, all of us have uh, antibodies in our system. And if our system is healthy, we can repel viruses. But once those antibodies break down, then the viruses take over. And the antibody, if you will, to these false religions has been the, you know, vibrant Christianity. It doesn't exist any longer in Belgium. It doesn't exist in Europe any longer. Well, it seems as though we're so busy enjoying the benefits and the blessings that yeah. God's given us that we, it's like we've gone to sleep. We're dull. Well, we've not only gone to sleep, it. we've actively attacked it. We've, we've attacked the founding principle of our civilization. And, and, and nobody can do that without, uh, and, and survive. That's what's happened. Our elites have turned against the founding principles that gave us our freedom. Why? Because they don't want to be Christians. They don't acknowledge they're sinners. They don't want to come and say they need a savior. That's, that's humbling. They, they want to be proud. And uh, in their pride, they're going to lose everything.